So everybody in the St. Jude uh, Garfish Rodeo caught monster gar. This is what I caught, but that's some good eaters. We're gonna make some Im imitation uh, crab meat and we're gonna fry some of this beautiful gar up. So let's get the slice of the dice straight down the back. Get another one like that. Just like that. And you just start caping it out. Boy, that's a nice fish shop. All the way down. Keep going, get that beautiful back strap off of there. Beautiful white meat. These these little ones fry up so good. Boom, boom. Right down the backbone. Just like that. Look at here what we got. Beautiful garfish. Look right there. Big pile of that beautiful meat. Same thing on the other side. Boom. Them roosters are cutting up, dude. Must be a hot hen out there. Old, old Trixie must be. Hollering back. Right down there. Get on that backbone. I mean, it is just like doing a deer, man. Exactly like it. Work your way down. Beautiful meat. Don't go slacking on them big garfish. That's some good eating, brother. Mm. Look at that right there. Beautiful white meat. Good fried meat. Let's go cook this, dude. All right, that's clean number two. All about the same size. Nothing but good eaters. Let's continue on with this garfish. Let's do fried garfish and then white beans, dude. I got that pretty slab meat right there. I like to cut it in little strips, just like that right there. Look how beautiful this meat is. I know y'all slack on them old garfish. Check that out right there, dude. Now we're gonna season the fish. Got that old two-step, dude. Season it up nicely. Boom, mix that around. Get that in that little bowl like that. Hit a little more seasoning on. We're gonna season it good. Oh yeah, give it a little shot of that old mustard, that's a little binder. Definitely gonna hit it with that old cayenne, dude. Give it a little flavor, a little bite. Boom, just like that. Got a little mustard on my finger. Mix that around. Coat that good. Oh yeah. All right. Now I'm gonna let them garfish hang out in that ice box, dude. Probably for an hour. Get up in there. That gives me a whole time to wait and hydrate, dude. It's been about an hour, dude. I like to season my fine cornmeal pretty good. You know I done seasoned that fish. Get that a little twirl like that. We make a mess. Now put them garfish down up in there, dude. Get them in there. I seen in one of my videos, dude, said, man, you about to make garfish go extinct. We been letting them things go. We didn't think they were no good. I said, oh yeah, just look how pretty that is. That's a game changer. Fried garfish for the win with them white beans, with them ham hocks, dude. You know that's gonna be money. Now let's lay these beautiful garfish catch and release in the grease, dude. Look how pretty that is right there. Garfish, white beans for the win, dude. Trash fish. I love them because they trash. Don't look how pretty. It don't take long. Probably two to three minutes right here. Look at that. Boy, that looks better than chicken tenders, dude. We built that masterpiece. You got them white beans and them ham hock. Got a little secret right here. I can't say too much. 
All I know is it's six million Scoville units, dude. And it's good. Put that like that. Hit it that little money dip right here on the side. Ooh, a lot of money dip, because that's going to be money, dude. Check that plate out. One trash fish, four recipes. Gar ball, smoke gar. We did fry gar. Now we're going to do that imitation crab meat. You got your beautiful car. Gar, car. Yeah, gar. Cut that in some nice little chunks like that. You got that water to almost a rolling ball. Hit it with that. A little liquid crab ball, dude. Put that in there like that. Get that out of here. I'm going to tell you what. This is money on top of salad. I don't eat salads. I put that over a little white rice meat. How pretty that fish is right there. Money, dude. We ball that for about a minute and a half, two minutes. Look how white and pretty that old garfish came out. Look at here. We're going to make that imitation crab meat. You can put that on a salad. You can put that on a cracker. Look how pretty that is. You're right. Them garfish are in trouble now, dude. I bet you I ain't going to be letting them go. Uh, I got me a little black iron, a little unsalted butter. I'm going to hit that with that two-step fire, dude. Just like that. And I'm going to sear them down. Listen to the sizzle. That smells like straight money, dude. Now let's sear them down and fill us a little plate with this garfish, too. Come here, come look at this. Give them a little flip. Look how pretty. It's just some old nasty garfish, dude. Look at here, look at here. Scrumptious. We scrape all that goodness off the bottom of that pan. We put that garfish over that rice. Don't forget that little buttered rice right here. I remember when I was young, my momo would take the bottom of the fried fish grease, all them little griots down there, and put that over rice. Now that was good, dude. A little ketchup. Check that out. Now that's pretty for some old imitation crab meat, dude. Probably still better than Maryland blue crab. I know y'all got questions why I got no hair on my arm right here. I've been testing out my broad heads. Hunting season is amongst us. I take that beautiful, look at that beautiful white meat. I take that garfish, hit that on that money dip, dude. Y'all don't be slacking, but I'm putting that white beans and that new secret hot sauce on a cracker, dude. I was this morning gonna hit that with a beer, dude. Cool. The only thing we got left to do, thank you, Cracker Assistance. Hey, if people wanna know you can get that, you get that maybe in the uh, link tree on the website, I don't know. We'll put that crab meat or that garfish and that rice on a cracker, dude. Probably more that money. Mm -mm -mm.